Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Heidi and on this video, I want to do a haul for you guys. I purchased a pair of sandals to wear, you know, right now during spring and summer. The sandals are from Saint Laurent and I'm really impressed with the packaging. It's very sleek and elegant and it's all black and each pair of shoes come with their own individual dusting bag that also says Saint Laurent and it's a really good substantial dusting bag. I ended up getting the flat tribute sandals. They're right here. I was debating between these tribute sandals and Hermes Oran sandals and after I also purchased the Hermes Oran sandals and after looking at both of them, I decided to keep these and I ended up returning the Hermes Oran sandals mainly because I just thought that these are a better choice, a more bang for your buck in a sense that it doesn't have like the loud Hermes logo on the shoe which I think can clash you know, with other designer items that I might want to wear, like, you know, a handbag or clothes. But this is very sleek and very minimalistic, and it doesn't really show the um, logos or anything. Only here on the sole, but nobody's really seeing that. But yeah, it's really, like, you really cannot tell that it's a designer shoe. Most people are not going to assume that this is a designer shoe. That's why I decided to go with this. It's very low-key and modern. I also like that it was all like this is all leather. It doesn't have any stitching in the end and the Oran has the stitching in the end and I saw a video here where another YouTuber mentioned how the stitching in the end of her Oran sandal was kind of getting loose and so that to me like bothered me and uh, yeah but these I figured these are going to age pretty nicely and since it's all leather they're going to get softer with time. I ended up going with the brown because to me it's going to look like a nude sandal because it's just going to blend into my skin tone and yeah I'm really impressed with everything i have worn it once that's why it's a little bit dirty here on the on the bottom sole i did size up a little bit i sized up to an eight and a half because eve saint laurent tends to run a little bit small i i ordered a pair of booties a couple of years ago and i had to return them because they were too small and so i learned that with eve saint laurent if i want to purchase shoes from them in the future I have to size up at least half a size because their shoes tend to run a little bit small so that's what I did with the flats I'm usually an eight but I decided to go with an eight and a half and the eight and a half fit me perfectly I also like the way this makes my feet look it look makes it look really like small elegant and narrow and I also like that not all of my toes show here on the like toe bed. You can see just um, a little bit of the toe, not a lot. As opposed to the age Oran, you can really see like all of my toes and everything. And, and this is the, the sole. So that's the sole. And it's all made of leather it's flat the sole is leather and yeah i'm thinking about putting something here so that i won't slip because since it's leather sole it is pretty slippery so yeah i'm thinking about doing that but overall i'm really loving this and uh yeah but i'm looking forward to wearing these and seeing how they perform with time are they worth purchasing or not so maybe i'll come back in a couple of months or a year and give a 
thorough review on these sandals and how they perform. Is it good quality? Is it worth the money? Because these are pretty pricey, but I really, really love the style. It's so beautiful and elegant. And yeah, I can't wait to start wearing them. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you on my next video. Bye.